Yeah. And Carlos, the $5 super chat, man. Thank you, my dude. He says, Rob, I believe you worked in the Lord of the Rings films. Can you tell me again what it was that you did? Oh, so I worked with the team doing the, if you have the extended editions on Blu-ray, the uh, documentaries, the extended edition. We did like 10 hours of documentaries. I worked on Fellowship of the Ring and Two Towers. Then I jumped over to Chronicles of Narnia. So cool. So yeah, so we were we spent a year on each film. So I was in New Zealand. Here, here was my work day for about four months. At one point, I was in Wellington. I would get up, and we would go record audio commentaries from like nine a.m. to noon, and then we'd have break for lunch, and then from one to like six or seven, I would just interview cast and crew. So. One of my favorite things I ever did in my career was we had to interview Christopher Lee for for a fellowship, and everybody was scared to interview him. <laughs> and I, I'm like, "Oh, send me." So I went to the first time I went to London. Um, we so when you're interviewing a celebrity, what you want to do is you 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 so like, "Can we come to your house?" You you we got a suite in London's Dorchester Hotel, and then he came to the hotel and we hired hair and makeup and it, a professional team to shoot a company called special treats did uh, that's still doing a lot of uh, work for behind the scenes stuff. They're great, but I was the interviewer and you never know how it's going to go. Like when you, you interview a celebrity, it might last five minutes. I interviewed Christopher Lee for five hours. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. We had a five hour conversation. And I'll tell you, uh, uh, I'll tell you a Star Wars story. So this was right before, uh, well, it was not right before, but it was like, I want to say it was January or February before Attack of the Clones came out. So Fellowship came out Christmas of 2001. So this was uh, February of 2002. Because we would release the extended version with all of our 10 hours of documentaries right before the next movie came out. So I'm, I'm interviewing Christopher Lee and he goes, he goes, you know, I'm in the new Star Wars movie. <laughs> and uh, I said, yes, uh, Attack of the Clones. And he says, you know, my, my, my dear, dear friend was Peter Cushing. And I'm like, I, I know you're in all the Hammer movies together you were frankenstein's monster and he was dr frankenstein i mean it was incredible he, he said you know i i went and i saw that first star wars movie and i, I called peter and i said peter you were just awful to that princess just horrible you were just terrible to that. Uh, it was just just awful and, and and by the way what is a grand moth anyway <laughs> i've never heard of that you know and 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 yeah. i'm i'm like laughing and um and then I said to him, I go, um, well, you know, uh, if Peter Cushing were, were here and, and he was, and by the way, no one knew anything about Attack of the Clones. And I said, um, if, if Peter Cushing were here and he saw Attack of the Clones and he called you uh, afterwards, what do you think Peter Cushing would say to you? And this was on a tape. We didn't use it. And I actually sent this clip to Lucasfilm, but he goes, he goes, well, uh, Peter would call me. And, of course, Christopher Lee was in the British intelligence service. I mean, he killed dudes in World War II. Jeez. And um, he's like, well, I, I suppose Peter would call me. And he would he would ask me. He would say, I suppose he'd want to know what the Dooku was now, wouldn't he? <laughs> and uh, it was just it hilarious. The whole thing yeah. was hilarious. And, um <laughs> That's yeah, awesome. so that's what we did, and and I spent three years of my life immersed in Lord of the Rings. And I have to give a shout out to the company Curdy Pellerin, Michael Pellerin, and Jeff Curdy. It was their company. Uh, they had hired me to come on, and I was working on Disney special features back in the early days of DVD when they were spending a lot of money. Um, and I, I was able to make a um, a feature length making of Tron documentary that I directed and edited that you can see on on YouTube because it's not on Disney Plus, unfortunately, but it's an 88-minute uh-huh. long documentary. But it was really great to work with them and and the team that made those special features. I mean, all you have to do is watch them. I mean, there was like 30 of us, and it was... Dude, it's, it's nuts because I watched all that shit, dude, when they first came out on DVD. Of course, this is years before I even knew you. Fucking decades, right? I mean, yeah. like... No, it was... I, crazy. The, the, the work... 
the work that was put in, put into those discs was insane. And and what's unfortunate is, I would say only about ten minutes or fifteen minutes of that five hour interview has ever been seen. And I I always thought that they should because we probably did four or five hundred hours of interviews for each of the Lord of the Rings movies. And the documentaries only represent 10 hours total. And it would be, I think for, for posterity, they should, they should just take the raw interviews and release them Yeah, on a website somewhere. Cool. That would be awesome. That'd be so, that would be awesome. Cool. Yeah. No, I was the same way with Valiant Archer. I, I would, cause you're right, dude. It'll be each, each film had hours and hours. I've never oh. seen uh, 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 anything at that time. Well, of course it was still kind of new then, but even then, I never seen special features that freaking jam packed. No, and and we worked really really hard. We 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 it was incredible. I mean, the first time I saw Peter uh the first time I I saw Return of the King was in Peter Jackson's house. When oh, we were shit. working wow. on Two Towers, I mean, I'll tell you a funny story. So so where Peter Jackson used to live, he had a house here and Philip Boyens had a house next door. And and we were down there working on, I want to say it was Two Towers. I think it was Two Towers. And we're all hanging out at Philippa's house. And and Peter had bought her a brand new plasma TV. And we were going to watch a movie or something. And we're like, have you calibrated it? And and we, we have to calibrate it professionally. <laughs> and I, I said, because I had produced X-Men and X2. And I said, do you have the X-Men or X2 uh, special editions? Because... They have a, cali- a THX calibration tool on those discs. Right, well, just pop goes, the disc in, and yeah, uh, and you can adjust the color and everything. And she goes, "No, well, well Peter does," and I hadn't met Peter Jackson yet. So we we walk across the street, and she takes me into Peter Jackson's house, and I'm sitting in the kitchen, and she disappears to go find you know the discs, and as I'm sitting there, and I haven't met Peter Jackson yet, Peter Jackson and Fran Walsh walk in. And and I'm sitting, I'm sitting like, like who's this guy? Uh, yeah, and, and I'm like, oh, and I, I, I and they're like, oh oh hello, and they're like, I, I I said I I said I said Mr. Jackson, I'm I'm with Michael Pellerin's DVD team. I just came over here with Philippa. She's going to get the X Men disc that I produced, and we're just going to use the THX optimizer to balance to 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 uh, 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 uh fix her TV. And it was so funny because then Fran sits down and she goes, "Oh, you're here with Philippa? <laughs> like, <laughs> like we were like we were dating or something." I'm like, "No, no, 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 no. I'm married. It's all good. <laughs> it's, it's fine." But uh, <laughs> that was the first time I met Peter Jackson. And, what a way to meet Peter life. Jackson! <laughs> and, but it, yeah, awesome. at first it was a little crazy because I'm like, "No, I'm not here." Because you could see it was one of these awkward situations where it for me it was a nightmare. You know, meeting meeting Peter Jackson for the first time because you don't want. But what I will say this, what was really cool was, so I, I made this movie um, called Free Enterprise that I, I wrote and directed that stars William Shatner. And one one day I get a call from uh, Peter Jackson and his assistant said, Peter would like you to show your movie, uh, Free Enterprise, in the Weta Theater. They have a movie theater where they show, and I'm like, I I I had given I only had one copy of the movie. It's not like I carried it around with me, and mm. I had given it to Rick Porras, who was in in um, Auckland, and and Wellington is at the bottom of the North Island, and Auckland is like at the top. So it's kind of like the difference between New York and Chicago. So my movie's in Chicago, and I'm in New York, or reverse it. Right. And I'm and 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 Peter's like, well, just you put it on at seven o'clock tonight and and uh, show it and speak afterwards. And I'm like, I, so I'm like frantically calling. <laughs> I'm calling Rick Porras. I'm like, dude, can you send me the 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 DVD and of my own movie? And he actually got it on a plane and sent wow. it. Out of, you know, there's planes going between all the time. Sure, yeah. And he, but he but... just puts the DVD on the plane and has it delivered to me in Wellington. And the funniest thing was, so I showed it, and Alan Lee, the great Tolkien illustrator, Alan Lee, when he when he laughed, he would kind of whistle through his 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 front tooth, like when he he had a like a because of the way his front tooth was when he laughed, it would whistle, and he was howling the whole time, and he was sitting right <laughs> behind me, 
And every time he laughed, I was like, oh, my God, I've made the funniest movie ever made, according to Tolkien and <laughs> Alan Lee. <laughs> But it was it was uh it was an amazing it was an amazing time. 